blah, 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 testing, testing. One, two, three, do a poo and do a wee. Guys, hello, and welcome back to the annual extravaganza that is Mr. Smully's top 10 summer niche fragrances for men list. It's gonna be exciting. Before we get into that, I did a video a few weeks back where I did a pretty, if I, if I say so myself, quite a, a passable rendition of the classic hit Black by Black Lace, Do the Conga. And a number of people have actually requested that I do their other big hit, Agadu. Now, if you haven't heard of Black Lace, maybe you're in the States, I'm not sure, it's a British band, not sure if you guys heard of it. Well, maybe this is, I think, a 1984 release. Back then, maybe you guys were listening to Madonna, Michael Jackson, Bruce Springsteen, and those guys had a go, they weren't bad. But here in the UK, we had the uh, the amazing phenomenon that was Black Lace. And here, I, p I am gonna pay homage to one of their great, great hits. Check it out. I got do, 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 push pineapple, pick the tree. I got do, 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 push pineapple, drink coffee. To the left, to the right, jump up and down and to the knees. Come and dance every night, sing with a hula melody. I met a hula mistress somewhere in Waikiki When she was selling a pineapple playing ukulele And when I went to the girl, come on and teach me to sway She laughed and whispered to me, yes come tonight to the bay The lovely beach in the sky, Kamuna Kauai The rum calypso sarong, where well, I'll be singing this song I got do, do, do Push pineapple, shake the tree. I got do, do, do. Push pineapple, grind coffee. To the left, to the right. Jump to the pipes and to the right. To the left, to the right. Hey, don't make it in a fight. I got do, do, do. Push pineapple, shake the tree. I got do, do, do. Push pineapple, grind coffee. To the left, to the right. Jump up and down and to the knees. Every night, all the time. It's a hula melody. Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back. Great to have you on board. Um, so I've done a, a non, a, a, an affordable niche, uh, no, an affordable fragrance summer list. I've done a designer fragrance one. I'm, I'm milking this for all it's worth. Having gone on, you know, d doing interviews with people where we criticize people doing top 10, the hypocrisy level is high because it's now time for my top 10 niche fragrances for summer 2021 for men or anyone else who would like to wear them. I think let's, let's check it out, no particular order. And I've also picked 12 because they make the, they make the rules, I break the rules. That's kind of the div division of labor out here. If you gave me the rule book, that's what would happen. So let's get stuck into it. First of all then, we're gonna go, it's no particular order, it's kind of random. So, oh, forgive me guys. I have to mention Bon Viver by Norton and Wilson. It's an amazing, I'm amazed how good this stuff is. And I, I'm not being that big headed because I didn't actually produce the fragrance, but I was kind of behind imagining what we would like. And if there is a link in the descri description, it would be wrong for me to include it in my own list. So we'll call it an, an honorable mention. Amazing response to the pre-orders, but you can still buy it now. Check out the link in the description. The amazing follow-up to Gravitas Prom is a stunning citrus aromatic fragrance. There's notes including uh, lime in there. There's a beautiful pepper and clove combination in the mid. Fantastic cedar wood in the base and a gin note giving it that kind of elegant, refined, British, British posh people having a party type theme. Okay, let's get into the list proper. So the first selection for you, I'm gonna go with uh, a really obvious one. It's a stunning fragrance. I'm trying to limit to one fragrance per fragrance house. And of course the House of Creed, known for their fresh, beautiful citrus fragrances. There's so many to choose from, Neroli Sauvage, Erolfa. Oh, maybe I should have included that, but I've gone for the, the well, I still think this is the best one. Virgin Island Water from Creed. Absolutely amazing citrus aromatic. Well, it's more than a citrus aromatic. It's a very unique fragrance because they combine lime and coconut 
for a fragrance so they're supposed to conjure up the, f the feeling of a great holiday out in uh, in i was gonna say the mediterranean that's not where the, the caribbean or the mediterranean would be fine too it's just that beautiful combination of the lime and the sort of almost creamy slightly sweet coconut thing but still very very fresh out the whole life when you wear it sings off your skin some beautiful soft floral tones in there just an amazing unisex fragrance. Gorse by Laboratory Perfumes is a good alternative. There's clones of it too, but if you can afford the real thing, it's a nice feeling to have it. Virgin Island Water, 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. I wear it all year round, but it's, it's a real summery kind of vibe on this one. Okay. Next up, something less obvious. Ninfeo Mio, or Ninfeo Mio by Anik Guitar. Really, really amazing, beautiful fragrance. Uh, the main combination of stuff that you get in this you're going to get fig with a very green leafy type of feel. Maybe some jasmine and quite a lot of floral kind of tones in this one. Could come off a bit unisex, a bit feminine for some guys out there, but I think it's, it's beautiful and a bit unique smelling. Uh, there's a little bit of citrus element in there, but it's this lovely kind of juicy, almost, almost creamy, milky fig note in there, which is a little bit reminiscent of peach, which is maybe why you may feel it's a little bit leaning feminine. I think it's great for summertime if, if you're a man who you know is not worried about what anyone else thinks. It's absolutely superb. Along with that fig note, it's got this really beautiful kind of leafy feel. It's like walk, walking through a beautiful, beautiful summer garden. I think that's what Anik Guitar were looking for when they created this fragrance. A really good house to check out, actually. A bit under the radar, you know, compared to some of the hyped YouTube fragrance niche brands. Really good stuff. Ninfeo Mayo, a real classic and a unique fragrance that I think would be a perfect summer holiday scent. Don't forget, if you'd like to join the Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon, there's a link in the description to do that. It costs just $2 a month and you get an extra video from me every week. Plus, you get to watch everything I've already uploaded in there. We're building a really nice community, lots of interaction, and I'd love to see you in there. Next up, it's a perennial favourite of mine, Fiero from Zerzhov. Similar, many say, to Vintage Dior Eau Sauvage, and yes, Renaissance, also a great choice, Neo, yes, Kobe, yes, but I think my favourite still from this house, as far as a summer freshie goes, is Fiero. It's got this lovely twist of greenness, a mint note in there, which I really, really appreciate in fragrances. Beautiful citrus notes, very refined smelling, kind of a gentlemanly vibe, a little bit of an old school gentleman vibe, but very much an overwhelmingly fresh fragrance. Lovely performance on this one, lasts really well, projects quite well, I find. And I really wanted a 100ml because I've just got a small 30ml and I need to stop being stingy with it. Fiero is a really, really exquisite fragrance for those who love gentlemanly style fragrances with a fresh vibe, a little bit of an old school vibe, but by no means dated. It really is exquisite stuff. Check out Fiero. Okay, let's throw you guys another curveball that you perhaps didn't expect. I want to include this one, Castile from Penhaligons. It was a great review from years ago by the lovely Katie Puckrick, where she, she just describes things so well. Always gives you that, that idea of how it f makes you feel rather than a boring note listing. And she really sold me on Castile, which she described as being... Uh, reminding her of going on holiday to fancy hotels in Europe, which she apparently did in her youth. And I think it's one of these ones that has all the bits of the orange plant or tree or flower. So it's got petty grain, it's got a little bit of neroli and or orange blossom. It smells like a really, really lovely orangey themed bar of soap that's very, very high quality, maybe Italian or something. But the brand, of course, a classic English brand, and uh, Castile, I think, is a brand of soap that you get in Europe, but don't quote me on that. So it's got a bit of a Euro theme, I think, but it's an English brand. Really, really one of those absolutely great Neroli, orange blossom, super fresh, soapy fragrances. A bit more intriguing and, and nuanced, perhaps, than Neroli Portofino. Almost a little bit of a spiciness in there as well. Really, really good. Underrated gem from Penn Halligan's Perfect for a Summer's Day. Okay, my next selection, Beach Hut Man Amouage. Could, I probably was in my spring list too. Well, I really have come to respect the House of Amouage a little bit more and more recently. Uh, it's it's uh, just one of those houses where they never smell like everybody else's kind of stuff. And it's so hard to be unique with so many niche fragrance houses. Uh, they're known for their exotic fragrances, incense, spices, oud, woody notes. But this one is uh, yeah, smoky notes. This one, very much a freshy. Beach Hut Man, such a bizarre name. But fragrance houses giving things really weird names now. What's that one? Um, Morning Swim or something, isn't it? By Louis Vuitton. But anyhow... Beach Hut Man is a, is a lovely summery spring fragrance. It's got this beautiful crisp citrus opening. Then again, as with the, the Ninfeo Mayo, this kind of leafy green element is in there. And some really, really just beautifully combined citruses and green accords with kind of a crisp white woody feel. 
definitely not an old school smell. Doesn't smell like a load of other things that are on trend or whatever. It doesn't copy anything else. And as with so many Amourage fragrances, I've also got Sunshine Man, which is by them a nice lavender and immortel scent. You really can't say, oh, it's similar to that or this. It's unique. And that's what I love about Amourage. And this, for me, is my favorite freshie for summer from the Armani house. Great work, guys. Guys, next up, it's one that I've advocated and I, I am absolutely happy to continue to do so because it's Amber Cologne from Bortnikov. What a brilliant citrus fragrance from the a talented, immensely talented perfumer from Origi from Russia, now residing in Thailand, Dmitry Bortnikov. Amber Cologne is fantastic, beautiful, natural, high quality citrus notes combined with a fantastic melange of floral tones, specifically a beautiful jasmine note, really photorealistic or olfacto realistic jasmine, like you've just walked past some blooming jasmine flowers, oh, perhaps uh, keep referring to it as on a summer holiday because I'm not getting one this year because of the COVID thing. Uh, I love Amber Cologne, it's absolutely sensational, really nice, good performance, not beast mode, but just appropriate level of performance and really nice longevity, highly concentrated, superb glistening high quality notes, real niche feeling about it. And if you like citrus combined with jasmine, there's more to it than that, but that, those, you know, those are the, maybe the standout elements. It's exquisite. It really is exquisite. A real happy smell. You know, it, I, I think it's an exaggeration to say a smell can put a smile on your face or make you feel happy if, if your life's going badly. No fragrance is that good. But to, if you're in a mildly optimistic or happy mood and you're going out or something in a summer evening, having a drink outside in a beer garden or whatever, when it's still... Um, you know, still light in the evening, all that kind of thing. Or again, you know, if you're abroad in the Mediterranean, anywhere else in the world where it's a summer vibe, this would just be so lovely to wear for a man or a woman, actually. Not many women uh, watch my channel. Can't, uh, surprising. But, but so, yes, a superb choice for any man or woman. Again, it'd be a very unisex list, this Amber Cologne, Bortnikov. Okay, well, I said just one fragrance per house, and I've stuck to that because I could have included anything from, well, a lot of things from Aqua de Parma. I love Essence, that's probably my all-time favorite from them, but Fico di Amalfi is perhaps their most summery summer fragrance. Again, it has this fig note, but this is very much fig and bright, bright Amalfi Coast type citrus accords. I don't know which ones are in there, but lemon, bergamot, lime, it, it's mandarin. It's got all that juicy citrus stuff with just this hint of peach-like fig notes. Really good performance for me and a fabulously vibrant, bright, it's kind of it's that mood of that color, if that, that's the color of the sea, and if you're lucky in some beautiful parts of Italy, uh, on the Mediterranean coast, you do get water that looks that color, and if you look at that from a, a far off cliff or something with a beautiful kind of green flora and fauna all around you, it's a fantastic image. And yeah, if you like citrus notes with fig, this is as good as it, it's never gonna get better than this, okay? so. A more easy like than the slightly more nuanced and complex Ninfeo Mayo, but uh, really uh, highly, highly recommended. Now my next pick hasn't featured in a video for a while, but uh, it really is a very welcome one to return to my channel. Etruscan Water from Francesca Bianchi. This house is based out in Amsterdam in Holland and they do some stunning, stunning stuff. Uh, I really enjoy Etruscan Water. I actually bought it with my own money. I wasn't sent it free or anything like that. This is a stunner. It, it, it's kind of a citrus aromatic fragrance, but they've put some kind of gnarly animalic undertones in there. And they're, they're a very, I think their they're blurb on the website, whatever, actually, you know, admits that. Uh, so it's got all your usual kind of lovely citrusy stuff. But it's got this really good kind of musk element in there. A bit of a heady own thing, the same as Dior's Eau Sauvage. And, and a kind of in almost a slightly indolic jasmine type uh, tone. Indolic means kind of jasmine floral tones can have an almost slightly animalic undertone and that's in here but it's overwhelmingly fresh uh, something kind of musky and sexy almost a, a pinch of Yves Saint Laurent Coros but with a very much more citrusy fresh opening it really is a stunning fragrance it lasts absolutely aged I think it's an extra de parfum you just get it in a 30 ml bottle and at the price I seem to remember quite accessible beast mode freshy for old school fragrance fans who want something with a bit of that vibe, but it's not dated. It has the modern niche smell kind of thing, if there's such a thing as that, but I always think there is to it too. The juice gives you that, 
It looks so pungent. It looks like it's going to smell like brandy and tobacco, but it doesn't. It's a beautiful, beautiful fresh fragrance. And the, uh, the box there with the slightly aquatic thing, that there is an aquatic freshness about it, but mixed with depth and complexity. And that's what I like sometimes. Okay, I think we just have two left. So penultimately, Cologne Intense Hubigant. When I first got back into fragrances and, and just before I started my channel, this was a major discovery for me. I think it was a 2010 or 20, uh, no, no, 2015 release, I think. And it's a stunning, stunning tribute to the traditional Eau de Cologne style of things like 4711 or Four, Farina Eau de Cologne, but it's, there's a lot more to it than that. So you've got the beautiful citrus melange, the bergamot, and all the other kind of typical citrusy notes. There's petty grain in here as well, the kind of orangey leaf bit of the orange plant thing. Uh, there's a jasmine note in here. There's patchouli in the base. There's a little twist of something which is quite interesting, mate tea. I think there's a twist of incense. So there's a slightly exotic, but still overwhelmingly kind of citrusy, Italian stroke French classic perfumery vibe to this one. Again, kind of the same mood for me when I'd reached for this as my vintage Old Sauvage or anything else that smells similar. Absolutely high quality and refined, elegant stuff. I love the fantastic bottle and the price on this one, quite reasonable for a niche fragrance. Honestly, guys, it's, it's as good as any Creed, I think. Some people say, oh, I get this funny thing that I don't like in Cologne Intense. I keep seeing people in Facebook groups complain about that. I've never got anything weird or off-putting. Some people say there's a weird honey thing or something really just bizarre to me. I've never got that. I just get pure class all the way through Cologne Intense. Who be gone? Okay, my last one is a discontinued niche one. Uh, it was Claire from the Smurfy Girly channel years ago who introduced me to Cologne Blanche from Christian Dior. Incredible juice. Um, this is kind of like Neroli Portofino with a kind of milky, creamy, sweet vibe. Uh, I think the great reviewer Super Dacob, who does a lot of fashion stuff, he's like into Chanel stuff and all that, you know, buys all the latest bags and all that kind of thing. A really eloquent reviewer, uh, but he loves his Chanel and his Dior. And he said it was like the best smell that you would imagine on a baby or something, which sounds a bit weird. Like the best ever baby lotion you could possibly have. And it's, it's a good description. It's super clean, like Neroli Portofino, but with something more interesting. It's got an almond note. That's it. I remember now. Yeah, just a beautiful little twist of bitter almond with a Neroli Portofino freshness. Stunning. Hard to find now. I've only got a decant. If you can seek it out, do not miss Cologne Blanche from Dior. What, why on earth they discontinued that? I'll never know. I'm quite cross. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. It was a real pleasure to have you on board. Let me know what you thought about my list in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye-bye. Bon viveur, le nouveau parfum pour un par Norton Evilson, parce que la vie est faite pour être appréciée.